Standing here in the dining room of the Porter County Museum, I'm with Phil Brockington and Howard Reeve, uh, who are volunteers here and docents at the Brower, but have been a tremendous help with the small art collection we have through the Historical Society. I uh, want to talk a little bit about what you see behind you, uh, because both Philip and Howard have been instrumental in cleaning it and making it look a lot nicer than what it had been before. Well, so, I understand it was sit sitting down in the basement. basement. And the veneer on the frame was popping off in every direction. So what <laughs> I did was I polished it with wax, and I got from the schoolhouse shop a, like a crayon and filled in where the missing pieces were. And I was trying to fix it up again today because it got put back down on the floor, which should not have been done to it. The, the picture itself started out as a lithograph. Uh, much like the Thomas Jefferson here, or, or the George Washington on the other wall. Uh, but a local, a local man. What is his name? Kevin? His name uh, was Silas Hazen. Uh, done, done the work, I think, back or at least colorized it in 1863. Yeah, he colorized it and put in, filled in the background and all that. We tried to find out a bit about him through the uh, census records, uh, but. He liked to play games with census takers because he always, <laughs> he always described his profession as something different. With every census, it's it's not it's not very important. There's, there isn't anything particularly important about the piece. It's too bad it was mistreated after we first fixed it up because then now it needs to be redone. <laughs> uh, the where the uh, veneer is missing has to be disguised again. And that's about all there is to it. Right at the moment, since we're approaching, in a few days, Lincoln's 200th birthday, uh, we think we should get together what we can on Lincoln things. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just on my behalf, from the Historical Society and the Museum, I can't thank you both enough for everything that you've done here and continue to do here.